Hey guys, it's Anna, and for this week's video, I'm going to be telling you about my experience at music festivals. Now, my inspiration for this video came from Coachella, and I know that Coachella week one has ended, and week two is about to start shortly, so yeah, I'm going to tell you my experience at music festivals and the reasons why I didn't necessarily like them very much. So let's get on with that. The music festival that I went to here in Australia was called Good Life and I remember going to only the after parties. I didn't go to the actual event but I went to the after parties and I went through some pretty crazy things at the after parties. So let me let me tell you a bit about so reason number one was just the clothing and the types of people there because some of these girls were wearing the weirdest most revealing things ever and some of the guys just didn't even have shirts on they, I, I, that didn't even process in my brain first of all and some of these girls were wearing like tiny shorts that almost looked like undies and you know, tops that almost look like bras, and I was like, what, what is happening? What is happening? I remember showing up to the event wearing these, I'll have a picture pop up right here, right about now. I was feeling pretty confident in what I was wearing, I, but both the times I somehow felt like I was really overdressed. And some of the people there at the music festivals were just weirdos and kind of gross to be honest like some of the guys and some of the girls were just kissing right next to you you could be trying to enjoy what's happening in front of you and the DJ and whatnot but there'll be people either in front behind or next to you kissing continuously I'm like don't you need to breathe but no they don't they don't need to breathe and I bet you they only met each other like two seconds ago literally hi hi and now they're kissing in the corner and that was just weird reason number two is the music yeah at good life they played mainly electronic dance music which is expected from music festivals they usually play these really upbeat songs so you could have a great time and just jump around like crazy too but honestly my personal music genre isn't EDM it's not something anywhere near that either so going to the event I knew that there would be a couple songs that I don't really know I did not think that I would not know every single song I remember just jumping around like an idiot and everyone around me was like singing along if it had words or you know just having themselves a great time and I was here in the just by myself like oh gosh like I remember even Messina and Connor knew the songs so it was literally just me who did not know the songs so that was that was fun that was, that was really fun reason number three is this reason that I like to call a water bottle reason and I call it the water bottle reason because these smart guys at Good Life but what they would do is they would buy drink bottles and they would unscrew the lid and sort of just do this on the top of their heads just over the crowd and what that would end up doing is it would end up spraying water to everyone on the in the crowd anyways for some reason it felt as if all that water that they were spraying around everywhere somehow ended up on me I remember one second I was completely dry and the next second I was soaking wet like actually literally soaking wet my hair looked as if I stepped out of a shower. It was weird. It, I didn't think you could get so, like, soaked in like two seconds. I did not know that, but it happened. And then not only that, the DJ also decided to do like champagne showers, is that what it's called? When they pop open the champagne bottle and they just sort of spray it around everywhere. Yeah, for some reason, all of the champagne just ended up going straight onto me. Well, it felt like it did because I ended up, at the end of the night, I ended up smelling like sweat, water, and my deodorant mixed in with the sweat and water, and champagne. So that was, that was great. It was the weirdest experience in my life, but we still laugh about it if we talk about it. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how it happened, but it happened. 
Fifth reason. I'm pretty sure this is the fifth one. One, two, three, four. four fourth reason, fourth reason, yeah, fourth reason, is just the plain inconvenience of squeezing through people to get out or get into the crowd. So whether you have to get out of the crowd to maybe get a drink or go to the bathroom, whatever your reason was, chances are it's really hard to get out. I remember trying to say excuse me to a billion people but they weren't listening to me so just casually going oh, 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 mm, through the crowd and then you know once we actually got out trying to get back in was like oh, another headache. What actually happened was Messina just grabbed my hand because I was like I don't think we'll be able to make it to the front and she's like uh uh we will. She grabbed my hand like around here and just pulled me to the front. I was like, how is this even possible? If I did that, no one would move. And apparently that's because I don't look intimidating. And that concludes my video of reasons and my experience at music festivals. Most of these stories happened in my first music festival thingy majiggy. Because my second one, I knew what I was doing and I knew what to expect. So I was fine. I was fine at my second one but my first one was kind of all over the place so I have so all these stories were from my first one so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel the button will be right over here or down below next to my profile picture it's bright red you can't miss it let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more talking videos in the future because I've got so many stories to tell you guys. So if you're interested and if you liked this type of video, let me know. Because I will happily film more. Because it doesn't take very much preparation. All I gotta do is sit down and talk. So that's easy. If you guys wanna see, I've got two videos from my good life experience. One is from the first after party that I went to where most of these stories were from. And the second one is from the second after party that I went to. and. I will link them in the down bar so open up the description and check out those videos. From those videos you can obviously tell that my second one was much bigger event than the first one. Um, yeah check those out if you're interested. Yeah that's it so I'll see you guys all next week. Bye! Give it a thumbs up and that was my friend Messina. She just texted me saying, I'll read it out to you. She's like, I need you to read this in front of the camera. So fun. She said, can I message you while you're filming so you can say, oh, Messina. So, oh, Messina, that's so typical of her to text me as I'm filming. But anyway, she said in her message, if you're filming, read this out loud. Okay. Hola, Anna's fans. Add me on Instagram at Messina with two A's at the end. Full stop. Peace. Yeah, there you go. Gave you a shout out. Hope that was worth it.